Good day, folks. Welcome to another Cyclone Chasers special update for the Charters Towers Goldfield Ashes Cricket Carnival this weekend. Uh, this update will specifically deal with the weather around Charters Towers over the weekend for what is normally Australia's biggest cricket carnival in terms of participation. And it's just something we've done for the last five years ever since we started so we just uh, do one of these annual updates for that specific carnival what we can see here using the OCC weather center is a very very deep trough going all the way up here from the Northern Territory all the way down towards uh, the New South Wales coast now that line of showers and thunderstorms is going to progress eastwards very slowly over the next couple of days now on Sunday afternoon that will present a problem in Charters Towers because uh, it is expected to finally hit that region now the good news of course is that by then we will probably have seen most of the games concluded so uh, I guess it's good news because the locals will get their rain and the travelers will get three almost full days of cricket under their belt. Outside of that folks there's not too much weather going on in Charters Towers for the next few days or at least the next couple of days in terms of Friday and Saturday. On the synoptic chart we can clearly see that trough system as I said it's going to progress eastwards uh, quite slowly over the next couple of days but eventually it will be we will be creating showers and thunderstorms in the Charters Towers area on Sunday. Of course, a lot of the fields aren't just in Charters Towers. There's a few up around Mingala. There's a few out towards Homestead. Uh, there's a couple down to the south of the, of the city. Uh, so there, there are other places where games are played, but generally the forecast is the same. Tomorrow is going to be fine, and you can see here no rainfall tomorrow, no rainfall Saturday. But by Sunday, as I mentioned, we're expecting to see probably some possibly sh uh, heavy showers and thunderstorms developing in the afternoon on the Sunday and that trough will progress eastwards on Monday and so you'll even see some of the coastal districts receiving those showers and thunderstorms on the Monday. Looking at the winds in the area now tomorrow's morning's games are going to have very little wind which means it's going to be very hot and there's going to be very little respite from the heat. As we go into the afternoon and towards the back end of the afternoon games we will start to see a northeasterly push through which has a double a double effect here because we're going to see a situation where we see more moisture pushing into the Charters Towers area but we also see a little bit of respite uh, with the, the increase in winds as well. So it's going to be a little bit more uncomfortable However, the, the offset to that is that you will start to see these 15 to 20 uh, not northeasterly winds coming through. As we go to Saturday here for the morning games, once again, no, no wind to speak of, so very, very hot, heating up very quickly in the mornings. As we go through to the afternoon hours, you can definitely see, once again, that northeasterly pushing through. A little bit lighter on the Saturday than it is on the Friday. As we look to Sunday morning's games, uh, once again, a very little wind to speak of, a light northerly, if anything. As we go into the afternoon games on Sunday, and most of them will be over by around 4pm, you can see this northerly pushing into this westerly so that's our trough line right along that trough line we're going to see scattered showers and thunderstorms on the Sunday looking at the combination computer model forecast for the maximum temperatures tomorrow we're looking at 36 to 39 in the area uh, around the Charters Towers region and then really heating up on Saturday uh, so Saturday is going to be extremely uncomfortable as that trough system starts to get a little bit closer we're starting to look at temperatures in the 39 to 42 area uh, and then on Sunday uh, once again very very hot in and around Charters Towers. So tomorrow is probably the pick of the days in terms of the cricket because it's, it will be hot but not too hot plus we get that northeasterly which is going to bring a little bit of respite from the heat whereas Saturday that northeasterly is much weaker uh, and correspondingly we're seeing temperatures increasing a lot further on the Saturday and then the Sunday with the trough system right over the top of the region is when we're expecting to see uh, probably the, the worst of the conditions in terms of being out on the field. So looking at the precipitation forecast here, folks, as I said to you, there's not going to be too much around on Friday and Saturday, but as that trough comes in on Sunday, we're going to see the morning game should kick off and should finish very, very uneventfully meteorologically speaking as we head towards the afternoon hours though you can see early afternoon we're already starting to see showers and thunderstorms developing around Pentland and then tracking eastwards and by 4 p.m. Uh, we're actually seeing showers and thunderstorms right over the top of Charters Towers itself here uh, as we get into the mid-afternoon period and then as we go into the latter parts of the afternoon and into the early evening you can see continuation of showers and thunderstorms in the region on that Sunday. 
So as I said, Sunday afternoon, we are expecting to see widespread showers and thunderstorms here. Just for interest's sake, for those of you sticking around, Charters Towers are uh, following on from the ashes maybe for another day or so. If you happen to be lucky enough to have a five-day weekend coming up, uh, you will see showers and thunderstorms then continuously from the from Sunday afternoon uh, onto Monday afternoon and possibly Tuesday afternoon as well. So here's early Monday afternoon. You can see showers and thunderstorms now popping up all the way even onto the coast uh, as we go into the middle to latter parts of the afternoon we get some very heavy thunderstorm activity in this area and then as we go to Monday night you can see those thunderstorms are now pushing in towards the coastal regions but we also have new storms popping up up here in the Herbert uh, sorry not the Herbert and Liberty in the northern goldfields up at Flinders region so you can see they're going to be all over the all over the place over the next couple of days and the same thing if you still happen to be there on Tuesday morning uh, and into Tuesday afternoon uh, well, probably not as widespread there for Charters Towers itself. Charters Towers seems to be right on the western edge of, or the western boundary of that really heavy storm activity there. But in general, if you're in this region, uh, you're going to see widespread showers and thunderstorms. And just for the local sakes, uh, for the locals that are interested, uh, those showers and thunderstorms don't look like they're going to go too far. Uh, they're going to be sticking around the region for the extended period all the way through to probably even next weekend. So once they kick off on Sunday afternoon inland uh, and then Monday and Tuesday inland and on the coast, they'll probably just stick around the region uh, without any real big clearance coming through for the rest of the week next week. Thanks for watching our Oz Cyclone Chasers special Goldfield Ashes update today, the 21st of January 2016. Just a reminder, if you like what we do and you like tropical cyclones, you want to learn more about them, and you want to get access to our new weather centre, which has high resolution radar and satellite animations, among many new enhancements coming up, please become an Oz Cyclone Chasers subscriber at ozcyclonechasers.com.au slash subscribe. Have a great weekend with your mates. Stay hydrated, I don't need to tell you guys that, and enjoy those storms starting on Sunday evening or afternoon.